The introduction of the religion of Islam traces back to the mid 7th century when Prophet Muhammad started preaching Islamic learnings to his followers. In the second half of 7th century and beginning of 8th century, the religion of Islam had widely spread to the rest of the world, such as the Middle East, Asia, North and Eastern parts of Africa. Fearing of persecution and so as to escape from idol worshippers of the Quraysh, Prophet Muhammad's followers migrated to Ethiopia. The then King Arma received and allowed them to dwell wherever they wished. They stayed in Ethiopia in peace and comfort and to practice their religion undisturbed. The peaceful settlement of the Muslim immigrants and the growing commercial relationship between Ethiopia and the Arabians along the Red Sea coast, Gulf of Aden, and Zela had also paved the way for the introduction of the religion of Islam, particularly to the southeastern parts of the country. The formation of Islamic states, particularly in the southeastern parts of the country, for instance, the ancient towns of Ifad, Fatgar, Dauro, Harari, and others is a landmark in the history of the religion of Islam. Some are perished, others survive due to several social and political factors. Harla an ancient commercial town in the eastern parts of Ethiopia could be mentioned, the one which is mysterious but not fully uncovered. The town of Dredwa, one of the oldest and the place where one can find the heritage of prehistoric caves and works of inscriptions. Located at 15 km from the town of Dredwa, the ancient commercial town of Harla is found. It's also situated on a hilly terrain between two small Wabi River and built for the most part on the right side of the present road to Dengagu. Well, um, actually uh, this site of Harla, which is uh, situated just uh, a few kilometers from uh, Diridawa, has been visited by a number of uh, scholars in the in the recent decades and, and most especially in the, in the recent years. Um, uh, Farange as well as Ethiopian uh, scholars have been visiting this site, mentioning various uh, number of uh, artifacts such as uh, ruins, a mosque, ancient mosque, uh, Arabic coins, uh, also recent coins, uh, and also small uh, stone objects that have not uh, been yet identified. A walled town, but now ruined, reflects its ancient civilization and once the capital of Harland Kingdom. It was also linked with neighboring settlements and the highland of Churchill Mountain. Harla was one of the ancient commercial center between the 7th and 13th century. Due to these commercial ties along the Red Sea in the port of Dela, the highland, lowland and Nilotic cultures of Ethiopia have mixed with the cultures of Arabia, India and the Far East. There are about 10 localities in the present day Harla whereby archaeological research is not conducted. 
Research confirms about the existence of coins in Harla with different origins. What we have concerning Harla uh, is uh, actually a number of uh, a few number of uh, a small number of um, Arabic inscriptions mm -hmm. dating back to the 15th century, uh, 14th and, 16th and, and 15th century uh, AD, uh, as well as a number of uh, coins that were apparently minted uh, in Egypt or Yemen in the in the fourth, in the 14th and 15th century. That's what we have for the moment. Mm -hmm. Even the present dwellers confirm this. In our daily activities, like farming and house construction, we often find various archaeological remains of the past that belongs to the Harla people. For instance, this one is a seal. The Harla people used some 700 years before. Interestingly, a stone calendar is the one, but there is an archaeological debate whether this material is a real calendar or not. This invites archaeologists for further study. Once in the past, Halla was a well-designed tourist town with a strong economy. Remains of tracing in the settlement indicates the people's concern for cultivation of the land Commanding centers of the Halla Kingdom, but now ruined, are also observed. Uh, the existing document gives us that they were uh, a follower of Fakih uh, Saleh during uh, Hamda Sion and follower of Ahmed uh, Ibrahim uh, Gran uh, in 16th century and later on Muhammad Jasa in the 16th century. Uh, these are what we know. As the soldiers, they were active, uh, especially during uh, uh, wars of Ahmed Gran. Uh, they used to have the right flank in his army, and so they were um, uh, act active um, force of Ahmed Gran. With archaeological findings, Waving, poultry, glass, wood and iron work, farming, cattle breeding and mining were some of the activities of the peoples of Harla. Harla, the ancient town, was also an administrative and religious center. Probably, it had also its own minted coins made of copper. In the ruined town of Harla, a 40 meter deep water reservoir dates back to some 400 years E.C. A great number of graves, having remains of human bones, have been discovered in the hilly areas of the town of Harla. There is uncertainty about the decline of Harla, but according to researchers, social factor is the one. However, the unfavorable climate condition was also a major challenge to the people. The growing need of housing construction with a growing number of settlers is believed to be one of the factors for the shortage of archaeological sources about Harla. Eventually, the ancient commercial town of Harla is a unique resource for Ethiopia in general, for Dredwa and Harar in particular. We have to the, 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 the role of, the, of, of scholars, um, either they are uh, um, Ethiopian or, or foreigners, is to document the best, the, 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 the better possible to, to, to document these archaeological sites uh, for, for, uh, for, for, for increasing their, their heritage uh, significance and value. Because I, I think that most of the, I mean, Ethiopia is very well known for, for a number of, of very important sites just Aksum Nalibela and also now a number of uh, Muslim uh, sites in this country. And there is a, there is a, a very important uh, potential for tourism development. And I think this is what we have to do. This is our, this is our duty.
The Italian professor, Domenico Patassini, a leading researcher who paid a visit to Harla, describes the historical importance of Harla and the need to preserve this unique heritage in his edition, Museum for Harla. The awareness about Harla's historical importance is little. Hence, this unique heritage needs.